Now to the shakeup in the Russ case. Prosecutors have dropped all charges for now against Alec Baldwin in the onset shooting death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins. Chief National Correspondent Matt Gutman here with the latest. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, George. Now, this was a shocking turn. The two special prosecutors saying they now have new facts that compelled them to drop the charges against Baldwin for now. Incidentally, the move coming on the very day shooting of the film Rust resumed. This morning, a major victory for Alec Baldwin, accused of involuntary manslaughter and the death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins on the set of the movie Rust. Less than two weeks before an important preliminary hearing in New Mexico, prosecutors dropped all charges against him for now. Special prosecutors Katie Morrissey and Jason Lewis, who were assigned to the case last month, dismissed the involuntary manslaughter charges without prejudice, but stated new facts were revealed that demand further investigation and forensic analysis in the case. This decision does not absolve Mr. Baldwin of criminal culpability and charges may be refiled. The New York Times reports evidence showing the gun that Baldwin rehearsed with had been modified before arriving on set. That would affect the prosecution's original argument that Baldwin had to have pulled the trigger in order for the gun to fire. Baldwin's attorney saying in a statement, We are pleased with the decision to dismiss the case against Alec Baldwin, and we encourage a proper investigation into the facts and circumstances of this tragic accident. Baldwin insisted he was told the gun did not contain live ammunition and that he never pulled the trigger in Hutchins' shooting death down. in a 2021 interview with myself. George Stephanopoulos. So no. you never pulled the trigger? No, 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 no. I, I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them, never. never. That was the training that I had. You don't point a gun at somebody and, and pull the trigger at them. Said armorer Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, however, is still facing charges. Her attorneys praising the special prosecutor's decision, saying they have taken a very diligent and thorough approach to the entire investigation, and they fully expect at the end of this process that Hannah will also be exonerated. And after that long hiatus, production on the Western is now moving full steam ahead. DailyMail.com posting these photos of Baldwin arriving in Montana to resume filming this week. For his part, Baldwin reacting to the legal victory on Instagram Thursday, thanking his wife, Hilaria, and his lawyer, Luke Nikas, writing, I owe everything I have to this woman and to you, Luke. Hilaria also posting after the news showing her in an embrace with her husband. The prosecution of this case has suffered a string of setbacks. Two prosecutors had to step aside for procedural reasons, and then the prosecution had to downgrade the manslaughter charge because of a mistake they made. And now the biggest question is, after all of that, are they actually going to refile charges against him? George. Hey, Matt, thanks. Let's bring all that to our chief legal analyst, Dan Abrams. This case was always a stretch. This was always a difficult case, but it is still pretty stunning that we're at this point. We're a couple of weeks away from the preliminary hearing. And a new set of special prosecutors come in, examine the evidence, and say, we're going to drop the charges against Alec Baldwin. And you got to take a step back there and say, that's a really big deal by special prosecutors who simply did not believe that they had the case. And some of it, of course, goes back to that claim that Alec Baldwin made to me, made to me that he didn't pull the right. trigger. The FBI said, well, that's not likely, but now new evidence came in. Right. I mean, no one really believed that, right? How could you have a gun that fires without you pulling the trigger. And now it seems that maybe there was an explanation. Maybe he was exactly right. Um, so, and even the maybe could lead prosecutors to say we don't have the and case. because the gun may have been altered, is that why the armorer is still facing charges, at least one of the reasons? The armorer is about the rounds, right? It's not about the gun. It's about what were the bullets, what were the live rounds doing on the set? That was her responsibility in the end here, and it looks like they're moving forward with the case against her. Could charges really be refiled here? They could, but they won't be. I mean, there's just no way they're going to refile charges at a later date against Alec Baldwin based on, quote, new evidence. I mean, I guess it's possible they find new evidence, but considering how many months they've been investigating this case, that's very hard to believe. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.